Okay. 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 Hey, what is up, guys? I'm KBHD here, and we're out here at CES 2019 with possibly the highest profile item, and I want to see it for myself. It's the LG Rollable OLED TV. So this was actually announced last year already, you've probably heard about it, but it was kind of behind closed doors, it wasn't on the show floor for very long, it was more of a proof of concept. This year, it's on the show floor, it's real, they're showing it to people, and they're promising they're going to ship it to real people buying it this year. So I just wanted to see it in person, point a camera at it, and turns out it was pretty cool. So it is a 65 inch 4K OLED, and it's got all the benefits of these awesome panels already. So great vibrant colors, pitch black blacks, great viewing angles, the whole deal. And that's no problem since OLED panels are already super thin. And then it comes out of this pretty clean looking silver box with front facing speakers in it. A lot of soundbars have like upward facing speakers. These actually face you. And then it has three modes. All the way up, like a normal TV. All the way rolled down, so completely hidden in the box. And then this, this sort of midway, halfway down mode that's called the line mode. And it has this custom UI of the weather and things like that, which can be pretty useful. But obviously the cool part was actually watching the TV move up and down between these modes. Actually moving the TV was pretty quiet. It was maybe eight to 10 seconds and it just sort of slowly rolled its way up and rolled its way down. And that's pretty much the whole shtick. It's the rollable TV. So that was the marvel of watching the, the silver box open up the TV roll out the top, and then at the end of the day when you're done using it, I guess, it's a TV that can disappear into a box and not be seen. Now the line mode actually gave me an idea that I think they could do. The fact that you can stop this TV down two thirds of the way into this special mode is a good start, but what would be cool is if you could actually decide on any number of aspect ratios in between. Like if I was watching a 21 by nine movie, the whole point of this rollable adjustable TV would be if I could lower the TV to a 21 by nine aspect ratio. So there's no black bars. That would be dope. That I think would really make the whole rollable modular TV concept pretty interesting to people. And obviously the box is super simple. It's the black grill with the speakers, but I would love if they made like a clear box demo version so we could see the actual TV inside rolling up just cause I kinda wanna see how it works. But if you look closely at the sides of the TV, it's broken down into maybe 40 or 50 of these little segments and they span the whole back of the TV each and they're interlocking with each other to keep it rigid. And then the TV disappears into this little box piece by piece and then it folds down and it has this sort of X frame holding it back. And that X frame just kind of like expands and contracts holding up the corners of the TV. It's kind of hard to explain with words, but I think you visually get the idea. But that's how it works and that's the rollable TV. Now would I get one? Um, honestly, probably not. I mean, they say it's coming out this year, but it is definitely going to be uh, much more expensive than any other TV I use. And I already have a wallpaper TV, which is really dope. But you know, you gotta admit, it's gonna be expensive. But it's still pretty cool for sure. I think it's, it's neat to see really radical and crazy ideas at CES, which can be notoriously filled with products that don't go on to ever exist. It's cool to see one of these ideas actually move forward and become an actual product. And I think it does have the potential and I think they can easily make it do these things if you get to pick your aspect ratio at any point. That'll make the no black bars theory possible for watching movies and content like that. So it's fun to see. Maybe I'll get in the studio and actually get to buy it and use it. We'll, we'll find out soon. Either way, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.